Hey all, I'm Darren Wilson. I am from Fire & Water Cooking and welcome to the International Sous Vide Association's 2022 Virtual Summit. And I am honored today to be asked to go over the Inova Precision Oven. I've had this probably almost two years now. I think I got it uh, just a couple months after it first was released. And uh, so far, I mean, I've had couple issues here and there and I'm kind of going to go over with you but I actually um, use this uh, probably a lot more than I've used any other appliance in my kitchen or you know in the, in the house so I'm going to tell you why there's a few reasons a few things that this thing can do that um, you know I was kind of surprised myself how much I would actually use this and um, some of them are not what you would think but I'm going to get into that. First of all, I just want to say thanks for having me and I'll get into this in just one second. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Okay, first of all, if you guys are not familiar with the Inova Precision Oven, um, hopefully you are, but if not, this is pretty much a countertop, home-based combi steam oven. Now, you know, a lot of people will say it's really not quite that, uh, you know, complicated or, or, you know, it's not quite as good as one of those big commercial type uh, combi or steam ovens that you see in the... Uh, high dollar kitchens well that's true but that's not what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be an actually something that you can use at home that's not going to overwhelm you but it does some things so that a regular convection oven or your regular oven at home can't do and it's actually very affordable um, some of the steam ovens that you can buy for your uh, kitchen you know the full size ranges and all that are actually very expensive. They're six, seven, ten, twelve thousand dollars. The combi steam ovens from restaurants are t anywhere between twenty thousand to seventy thousand dollars and up. So what this is actually meant to be is something that can give you very similar results, do very similar things than those ovens can do, but to also be able to sit on your countertop and do some other things that maybe those ovens couldn't do as well. So we're gonna get into that. A lot of people get kind of confused thinking that this particular oven was meant to replace this, the sous vide bath, which I guess you could say it does function to some extent as, you know, does some sous vide type cooking. But as far as I'm concerned, it really doesn't replace this because I still use this quite a lot. But what this offers, it offers you some options that you don't have with this and that you don't have with your regular uh, oven. And we're gonna go over that in just a minute, but first of all, you know, if you're not familiar, this does come with a probe. There's a probe jack inside the oven that you can actually monitor the internal temperature of your food. Now that's one thing you can't do with the regular Inova or the Inova Pro. Now there are some sous vide circulators on the higher end that have uh, you know, thermometers that you can use to stick in your food to monitor the internal temperature of the food while it's in the water bath. But this actually will let you do it without having to be in a water bath. So since this does have the ability to use steam in cooking and it does have a mode that is considered sous vide or it's called sous vide for this particular oven. Uh, I'm going to tell you what that actually means. And I had uh, Scott Heimendinger, the, uh, one of the main developers of this oven on my podcast, and we discussed it in detail. And if you look up Fire and Water Cooking Podcast, you can look up that episode. And we went in pretty good detail of this particular oven. So I suggest you do that as well. So, all right, guys, I'm going to be right back and we'll get, we'll dig a little bit deeper into this and kind of show you one of my top three things that I use this thing for. All right, I'll be right back. All right guys, so first off, one of the things I do like about it is I can actually use my phone to control this oven, you know, in my house or when I'm out of the house. So that's a real benefit to me because a lot of times um, 
I want to start my cook or finish my cook while I'm not in the house. I'll give you for instance, I do a lot of uh, church get-togethers and usually we have them right after services on Sunday. And in order for me to actually have something ready when I get home, I can't, I can't really do that in my regular oven unless I set some kind of complicated timer or uh, you know just kind of wait till I get home to try to cook it and get it heated up um, in time for the guests to start arriving. What the Anova Precision Oven lets me do is I can actually take out you know cold food, put it in the oven, and have the timer set to where it goes off and starts cooking, but I can actually control it from my phone while I'm sitting in the pew at church to uh, set that up. I can set up all the different functions. I can set it in sous vide mode. I can just set it to uh, you know, warming mode. You know, I can use a lower temperature or a higher temperature. I can adjust all the uh, humidity levels. I can set the timer. I can use, I can have the probe in the food and uh, use the uh, probe temperature to control the cook. So that's what I, I actually use this a lot for that. So believe it or not, I don't use it a, a lot for sous vide type cooking. I do use it occasionally for that, but I use it more for the ability to control the entire cook when I'm not around or at, at, not at home. Or if I'm in another room, I can control it and watch it and, and follow up on my cooks without having to get up and check the oven every 10 minutes. So that's one of the things I love about it. But if you notice here, this has got a big water tank on this side. One of the first questions people ask, well, how much water does this thing take? I don't know if I want to go out and buy distilled water, you know, every other week to fill this thing up. Well, fortunately, this thing sips water very, very lightly. I mean, it doesn't take, you know, doesn't use water quite as much as you would think it does. It doesn't need a whole lot of water to create the steam that it uses. Because remember, it's not creating steam to fill the whole entire thing with 100% steam all the time. Sometimes you're using it for less, sometimes you're not even using the steam. But it really doesn't need a whole lot of water to create the steam that it needs. So, so get that out of your head. You don't have to worry about, you know, you want to use distilled water because you want to make sure the, uh, the internal uh, machinery doesn't get all gunked up with all the minerals and all that. But it doesn't cost a whole lot. I mean, you can get a bottle of distilled water for a dollar, and that really will last you two or three months, you know, maybe even more. I hardly ever uh, have to put water in my tank. so um, And I use it quite often. I use this probably three to four times a week for various things. So, um, yeah, I mean, don't even worry about that. They do uh, continually uh, update the firmware and they're all always tinkering with it and changing the firmware, trying to improve some of the software control issues on this oven. So it's not uh, something that, uh, they're not just la leaving you here with this oven and then you know, you're pretty much done with it. You know, they're constantly working on and improving the firmware software for this oven. I, I use this, like I said, with Wi-Fi all the time and the Bluetooth, you know, for the controls. The app, I'm going to go over the app in just a minute. We'll go over some of the uh, functions of the app. I don't use the app 100% of the time for recipes, but they do have plenty of good recipes on there. So let me go ahead and open, uh, show, you show you here that it does have the readouts on the uh, door panel here. And you can actually change, change some of the things on here. You can use the, change the different um, elements. So you got a top and bottom element and a rear element. So you can actually change how those elements work. You can also change all that. There's a lot more functionality on the app itself. You can actually uh, change your mode here to sous vide mode or just regular cook mode just by pressing the thermometer. You can press this here for you know your probe if you want to actually have use your probe to monitor the internal temp of the food or if you just want to use a regular timer so those are pretty good options this here is where you can adjust your humidity levels so um, you can actually go anywhere in between you know in five degree implements or in 
10 degree here uh, for the percentage of humidity. So that's all can be set on the uh, panel here or in the app. There's some other functionality the app's gonna have as well that you can't do on here. But um, uh, like I said, there's, it's neither here nor there a lot of times. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the inside of the oven. Um, you know, this one, like I guess I, I clean this as best I can. I've been using this for almost two years. So this is pretty clean from, <laughs> from what I've had you know, at some times. But one of the things that you're gonna see here, this is where your probe plugs in right here on the side so you can use it from both racks here uh, just fine you got your convection fan in the back you got a heating element on the bottom heating element on the top so there's a heating element behind the uh, convection fan in the back there the uh, thermometer over here in the corner let me see if I can get you a little closer in kind of show you some of the stuff inside there So there's a couple different thermometers in here. Now this one right here in the back, and you'll see it looks like a little thermometer sticking out and it's in like a little cup. Well, that's where your um, wet bulb temperature is re reading from. So what will happen is there will be water that it will collect in that little cup and the thermometer will be in that. And that will actually measure the temperature of the water. So when you're using the sous vide mode especially and it's measuring wet bulb temperature that's pretty much going to tell you what that temperature is if it were being you know in a sous vide bath so it's measuring the the water that's in that little cup the temperature of that water so that's going to give you a good idea of what the surface temperature is of your food now you'll see there's another thermometer here in the back on this side it's a little bit longer that's your air thermometer so that's the one that's going to measure your temperature of the air inside the oven so two different temperatures two different ways of measuring it wet bulb dry bulb different uh, functionalities and in, uh, in your cooks this little port right here that's where water will come out when you're doing your um, your descaling process because you are going to want to descale this after running it a certain amount of hours and it will pop up a little uh, notification that you need to run your descale process and you would pretty much run normal descaling stuff like you would in a coffee maker and what will happen is you put your pan on the bottom here and water will come out of the uh, that little port and fill up that pan and it'll tell you to empty the pan and then you'll it'll run some more through there but you're going to put some descaler in your tank to run the descale and that's pretty much it guys you got top and bottom and back heating elements two different kinds of thermometers you got your probe uh, jack here and that's pretty much all you really need in this oven it's got two racks and you got several different levels that you can use they tell you not to put anything on the bottom because it'll inter interfere with that bottom uh, heating element as well so pretty much you want, this is about the lowest you can go. And then you've got three or four more um, racks here, the uh, levels you can use your racks. So there's a couple different pans that will fit this. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute the pans that I like to use. Um, one of them is not the Innova pan, believe it or not. I, I bought some third party pans. But uh, the Innova pan, from what I understand, is one of the things they had issues with. Um, initially then now they've changed it the, the initial one would actually warp a lot and now the new one does not and now they also have a perforated pan that will work in conjunction with that as well so all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the app now show you what the app can do and then we're gonna go ahead and go over some of the pans and that's about it I'll be right back all right guys so let's go over the application here really quick um, right at the top of the screen, you have quick start menus and all these little functions. Um, you can pretty much just click on what you want to do and hit start and you will start the oven no matter where you are. So air fry, steam, convection bake, proof, uh, regular bake, dehydrate, uh, broil. All these functions are right here on a quick start menu at the top to make it a lot more convenient for you to uh, run your oven. 
Also has some uh, recipes, a lot of different recipes, a lot of videos built in to kind of explain what the oven is as well. Uh, but you can also control it manually by clicking just on the oven button there in the middle bottom. And it'll take you right to the functions or uh, all the different uh, controls that you have with the oven. Also has an activity menu here. You can see what you were doing. Then when you hit more, this is where you would change your uh, firmware, update your firmware, all that stuff. Tells you the version that you're using. You can disconnect your oven from Wi-Fi and all that. So let's go back into the uh, recipes real quick. And these recipes will walk you through the entire recipe and actually have all the functions that the oven needs to do to prepare them. So it's actually pretty much uh, walks you right through it if you need it. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you. This is the actual pan that came with the uh, precision oven. And this is actually the original one. And this it tends to warp when you're using higher temperatures. So I don't use this one that much. Now, they did come out with a perforated pan that you can buy separate that um, I got uh, probably about three months ago. And it will fit right inside the other pan, the original pan. And you can use this to kind of uh, help uh, keep your food out of like the moisture that may develop in the pan. But you could also use it for baking bread and all that kind of stuff, baguettes, things like that. People who use that. Now, after I got this oven, I actually went and bought these pans off of Amazon and um, uh, if you need them, if you want to know what they are, you can actually uh, go ahead and send me an email at fireandwatercooking at gmail.com and I'll send you a link to these. But what I like about them, it has that rack in there and it keeps everything off of the bottom so you get a nice overall, especially if you're doing like an air fry mode and you're wanting to crisp stuff up keeps everything off the bottom of that pan so you can actually um, do it air fry mode and it fits perfect in there it's uh, like I said it's I've had no problems I have two of those they come in a two pack and I've used those pretty much all the time I hardly ever use these pans that come with it but I use those pans all the time those third-party pans that I bought so they work really well like I said you can actually do sous vide without the bag in this oven. Now, a lot of people will go, well, it's not sous vide if it's not under vacuum in the water. Well, you can actually use this oven and put something in, the, in a vacuum bag to cook it sous vide type. The results that you get and the cooking method that it does, the lower precise cooking temperatures and the ability to use the moisture, to use a wet bulb and those, to measure those lower temperatures more accurate than you could without it makes it for what sous vide actually is, is, is in my opinion. It's the low precise temperature cooking that makes sous vide. It's not the vacuum bag, it's not the tub of water, it's that precise temperature lower temperature cooking and because that's what you're using that vacuum bag for is to be able to put it in the water and the water is just a better transfer of heat and your ability to monitor and measure and keep that water moisture at that lower temperature is the whole reason you're using that water in the first place so i'm not going to argue the point you can cook sous vide style is what I, I guess you could say in this oven, but it can also do a lot more than that. You can use it as a warming oven. And I've done this on some of my videos where I showed a lot of the restaurants, especially even barbecue restaurants, they will cook their briskets overnight. And then when they're done cooking on the smoker, they'll put them in a holding oven, which is got steam in it and it's a lower temperature usually they hold them like 140 to 150 degrees fahrenheit and they will hold them in a steam oven for hours until they serve them and what that'll do it will continually just like sous vide cooking does 
continues to break down the meat at a lower temperature and holds the moisture in so that it's not drying out. You know, it's not at a higher temperature that's making the moisture leave the meat. So a lot of, uh, you know, commercial kitchens use holding ovens and you can use that for this. That's one of the things I was saying about um, cooking something when you're not it at home and you can actually monitor it, put it on warm, use the moisture ability so that um, you're just holding the food and not continually to cook it and it's not drying out and the moisture is actually helping you control that temperature a little bit more precisely. All right, I'll, well, one more thing I want to talk to you about, and it's the ability that this Anova oven has to do something called Delta T cooking. You can do it with the sous vide as well if you have an internal temperature, which some of those higher end sous vide circulators have, like the Hydro Pro from Breville PolyScience. But this makes it awfully easy to do inside your Anova Precision Oven as well because what you want to do is measure the internal temperature of the food so that you can cook at a little bit higher temperature on the sous vide side. Let's say you want to do a medium rare steak at like 134 degrees, but you don't want to wait two and a half hours for it to get to the internal temp that you want. You can actually cook it at a higher temperature, let's say 138 to 140, monitor that internal temperature with your probe and then when it gets to right around four or five degrees within your finished temperature, you can actually start backing down the cooking temperature until it hits right where you want it to be on the internal temp. So that's called Delta T cooking, and that's something that this oven does really well, just like you can do with the higher end sous vide circulators. So that's it for the Nova Precision Oven, guys. I hope you got something out of this. Thanks for following along with the International Sous Vide Association's uh, Sous Vide Summit. Thanks for letting me be a part of this. I also wanted to mention I'm coming out with my own seasonings here and sauces and fireandwatercooking.com. You can check them out on the online store. Most of my seasonings are going to conclude black garlic, which is a more of a newer, fancier uh, uh, garlic product that's a fermented type. I really love that. I've been making my own uh, seasonings now for the past four or five years and incorporating black garlic into those. I decided I'm going to go ahead and release these. These are something totally different. Nobody else is doing it right now. I'm also going to come out with my own sauce. The sauce will be out just as well. This is a blueberry, black garlic, and balsamic. goes well with my blueberry and black garlic seasoning for ribs and pork and all purpose for pretty much everything, including black garlic in that and my black garlic and coffee rub for beef roast steaks check them out guys check out fireandwatercooking.com thanks for having me i'll see you next year on the international sous vide association's sous vide summit